A game hack is an application that alters the game's state in order to give the player an unfair advantage. But how? At their core, cheats work by modifying the game's memory. A game is a program like any other, and to run it requires the operating system to allocate memory specifically for it. Allocating memory is a common term in computer science, and it refers to the slicing of your computer's memory in order to distribute it to the programs that need it. The game stores data in variables that are compartments in memory with a name. Variables have specific addresses that tell the computer where in memory they are located. To create a hack, you need to open the game, scan the entire memory chunk of the game for the value of a property you want to change, for example your health, change that value, for example take damage, and repeat until you have one address that contains your property. But there is a problem. The memory address you found is going to change the next time you close and reopen the game. To fix that, you need to find the offsets of that game. What are offsets? When a program is launched, the operating system allocates a chunk of memory, copies the executable file onto it and runs it. That chunk can be located at any point in memory that's free, thus the name random access memory. An offset in hacking is the distance of a given variable's address from the start address of the game. So just make an app that gets the start address of the game and based on the pre-calculated offsets, changes your health. It's that easy. Or is it? Your operating system doesn't provide you with the memory to do as you please. It only gives you access to itself, and if the memory you want to access doesn't belong to you, it restricts it. That is why you also need to open a handle of the game application. A handle is a pathway that tells the OS to give you access to a specific process's memory. This is known as a user mode cheat. That is, if the game doesn't have an anti-cheat to prohibit this. More advanced cheats are what are called kernel mode cheats. Those install and load a driver to the operating system that has and provides unrestricted access to any processes memory running on the computer, including the game. Game developers try to circumvent this by installing their own driver on your computer. But what if you could inject the cheat onto the game process itself, bypassing the need to open a handle to the game? That is indeed possible. These are called internal cheats as opposed to, you guessed it, external cheats. All types of cheating, aimbot, ESP, god mode and noclip work by reading and writing to the game's memory. To make an aimbot all you need to know is the position of enemy players. Just do some math to calculate the position of enemies on the screen and move the mouse to that position. Same goes for ESP, except you just draw a rectangle around them instead. These are the basics. To go further, you need the deep grasp of computer systems, processes, and the C++ programming language. If you liked this video, please like and subscribe. It costs you nothing, and I wish you all the best.